Hey guys, welcome to today's adventure. My first adventure of the year, and I'm in an abandoned jail and uh, courthouse. It's a very old historic building with a really old jail, really small jail cells. Um, I'll give you guys some history as I, as I explore. I'll do a voiceover with some history. All I'm gonna do is just walk through, and I'm just gonna talk you guys through what I'm seeing. I'm in here for the very first time. I just got here. So uh, this is gonna be a pretty cool, pretty exciting place. I plan to be here for quite some time. So I'm gonna get my gear. So in the, in the meantime, let's get my music and my intro going, and I'll see you guys back after the intro. abandoned jail and courthouse sits in a city of about 21,000 people in Ontario, Canada. The city took over ownership from the county in the 1960s when the original court was moved into a new building. It has since been used as offices and artist studios, but has since sat empty since 2014. The jail was built in 1866. This pre-confederation courthouse and jail was originally on two separate parcels of land and are only zoned for institutional use. The jail was closed in 2011 in favor of a newer, more modern correction center not far from this location. Thanks to the individual who made this explore possible. Now sit back and let's enjoy the tour. Okay guys, where I am right now, I'm at the, uh, I'm at the back end of the prison and we've got the, uh, you got the, the, the yard here where the inmates can hang out and play around. So just, there's really nothing to see. It's a really high wall. But we'll uh, just do a pan around here so you can see it. And then wide back here. Okay. So going this way. You go right into a shower and stall. So this is more of a, a range where they, they all have their cells and then they use the, the bathroom when they need to. So you got a sign that says, do not flush before 7 a.m. After washing, throw soap in toilet under sink. Oh, wipe sink, respect. So there's your toilet right there, guys. And there's your shower. We're going to go through here, and here's the table. Pan up and down through, you can see there. There you go. Here's the table. And then we'll come through, and we'll see some of these jail cells and see how small they are. Like, these are tiny. This is really small, and I think I see that there would have been a bed inside there. If you look on, like you see on the floor, there's marks where the bed would have been. So these cells are literally like, what's that, like three feet across? Just the size of a bed. Hopefully I'll find some that still have a bed in them. But uh, this is a super old style jail. Okay guys, so here we're gonna go outside and check out the, uh, the yard. And so when we get out here, as I turn around, you guys can see that this yard 
is uh, a little bit more secure. You've got fences and you've got more bars. So let's see if I can get in here. And uh, so there's multiple yards all fenced off. Likely for the different types of inmates. So there's another yard over there. And then this is likely a small one here. And then there's a larger yard there with a, with a pavilion. So let's get back inside. of correction services 1984 and here we got another another range here so here's this actually looks like a drunk tank put this down here so you can see it there you go yeah so this looks like the drunk tank here's your toilet and sink over here another cell a little bit bigger and you got a bed there and the toilet and then another one here what do we got here on the wall we got some writing on the wall here Hamen 2011, last one in the hole. So what's this? Is this the hole, I guess? Okay. And then this is back over here, and that's back outside where I was when I first started. So let's go back out this way and see what else we got. This is just a bathroom, and this is probably another yard, so I'm not gonna bother going back there. So back here, see what we got in here. Okay, so this looks like intake, just like the last jail that I explored. You've got one single cell, and it's, uh, what's in here? It's got a toilet over here. Go down so you can take a look at it away. There you go. So there's your toilet. And sit here, hang out, get processed. There's a shower here. And uh, got some, some chains. You've got an interesting looking table or stool. I wonder if anybody knows what that thing really is. It's uh that's interesting. I don't know what that is. And then in here is where you've got supplies, likely where they would keep the inmates clothing to give them when they, when they get processed in. And here is where you would go to have your conversation with a loved one. There you go. And they all have a telephone and a chair and the bars. And then back over here is another one. And then in here, you've got a bigger one that holds two people, maybe three. Outside has three phones, it looks like. Um, yeah, and then that's that. So let's head back out. And then this here is just another corridor. Go upstairs afterwards. I'm gonna do the other upstairs now first. Where 
a little stairs over right here, I think. It's cold in here. Here we go. Okay, here we go up the stairs. Probably the same as down below. A couple of ranges. So here we are upstairs. Head over that way. And what we'll do is we'll go through and we'll probably come out over there on the other side. So here you've just got a, a bench to sit on. And here's a cell. And let's see. I can't see the holes where it had been for the bed, but there likely would have been a bed in there. I guess we'll go outside. It's a fire exit. Another cell, a lot of peeling paint in here. Watch this as I, I'll zoom up. A lot of water, paint damage in here. And no toilet, so likely just a bed. Oh, here's the toilet right here. And then here's a common area. Sit and chill. You have another shower. here and then through these thick doors here We've got a toilet and here's another range that's actually a nice shot right there very nice so here one two three four five six cells you got a mirror, a toilet, and a shower. And again, these are very small cells, only enough room for a bed inside. I'm trying to take another look this way. Arts ceiling. And then there's your uh, your control to open the cells, I'm guessing. We'll go in there afterwards. We'll go up here and we'll check out the top floor range. Protective uh, thing here, and wire and uh, metal to stop people from throwing things down at people. And then, again, very similar to the last one we were at. Here's a very, they're all very small, very, very small cells. Take a look down here. See if we can go inside. So there you go. Look at how small that cell is. And there's another one. This one doesn't go across. So this one has another cell right here. It's a little bit of a bigger cell. Here, I'll give you a pan up and then down. And then you got a toilet down here and a shower. And then there's another view of this range. So this is the main floor of an old of one building. Here's a standard looking bathroom. And then in here, oh, what do you got here? 
It's a big pink cell. Interesting. Yeah, we've got a big pink cell here, guys. Dom, you broke my heart. Denise Bailey, 2011, Revenge is Sweet. I love Wade. Okay, so this is where the women are held. So, looks like women's handwriting. I wonder if this is just like a holding area. Because it's not any actual cells. Female supplies, there we go, yeah. So this is a female wing of the prison. And we'll go over here. Nothing in here, big empty room. So there's the staircase that we saw earlier. But there's another, another bunch of rooms over here. Okay. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, so here we've got two toilets, no privacy, and a single shower. This here looks like it might have been a shower, but I don't see where the water would have came from. That's interesting. And go through here. Back in here. You've got a door there with some bars on it. Hopefully I can find some good history on this place. Oh, this is pretty cool. Here we go. You've got wallpaper behind the paint. So the paint has started to peel and you've got wallpaper exposing itself. Flower print wallpaper. That's interesting. Yeah, so this would likely be the woman's side of the prison. Back there. Okay, so let's head back downstairs. Okay, I think I have seen pretty much everything that there is to see. Here's a, uh, what do you call this stuff? One-way glass or two-way glass? I don't know what the hell you call that stuff. Super duper thick. This over here is the corridor where um, family and loved ones would come, come through and they would come in, check in here. Hey, there's me, what's up guys? And then on the other side is where you'd have your phone calls. Okay, I'm going to take a quick break, and uh, we're going to go over to the other side of the building now, and uh, we'll see the courtroom and some of the other stuff. See you guys soon. Okay, guys, I'm back, and uh, now I'm on the other side of the building, which is 
consider the courthouse and more of an administrative type building. So let's, uh, let's just get right to it. I'll turn the camera around and uh, let's see what we got. First thing we see, super nice staircase. There you go. I will uh, get you a better view from inside here. There you go. And we'll now pan to the right, left, I should say. And you've got the long main hallway with super nice arched features on the ceiling. So we'll just take a nice easy walk through. Each of these rooms that I'm walking by are empty. So you're not missing anything. And here's a nice room. You've got some curtains. I'll just do a pan up. There you go, so you can see. You got some curtains there, and then you've got a nasty looking red carpet. And then super nice, I uh, got some crown molding on the ceiling. Nice uh, rounded corners. Now this is an interesting room. I don't know what's going on here, but you come in here and it looks like it's like maybe like a kid's playroom or something, because you get these little tiny steps here that you climb up. And then you come on up in here and you turn around. And then there's this up here. I don't really know what this is or what purpose this serves. So it's really strange. The steps are really weird. And then there's this little spot up there and that's it. So I'm wondering if this is a place where kids would play, but I might be completely wrong. Maybe if somebody actually knows that, they can come in and comment and tell me, because I don't know. All right, back up this way. We'll come around through here, and you've got a courtyard. That doesn't really serve much of a purpose. It's just a courtyard. And let's get a nice shot up here. Right up to the top. Here we've just got, I think this was a cafe. Or something because we'll just do a little pan around here and there's some interesting foam on the wall not sure the purpose of the foam on the wall and then you come through here and you've got I'm guessing a coffee shop because this is coffee on the wall and then you've got what it looks here like I'm guessing some kind of a cafe I don't know Now we'll go take a walk upstairs and see what we got up here. Okay, it's gonna be dark, bust out the flashlight. So now we're going towards the courtroom. One of the highlights of exploring this building, it's an interesting courtroom. start on this side and it's got nice tall windows and radiator here and then we come through here get our position come on inside and here is your courtroom super cool room really interesting that they set up this sort of drop ceiling temporary thing because I'm guessing that ceiling tiles were falling. <laughs> I'm just guessing here, but yeah. So let's take a look this way. 
get a nice wide shot towards the front of the courtroom. And pan up. Now, I saw pictures from here in the summertime, and there was a judge's gavel, but it seems to be gone, unless I still find it. But there was a gavel here somewhere. It almost looks like this was staged. For like a movie or something. It doesn't look real. So here is what I'm guessing is a witness box. Scan down inside here. Nowhere to sit. I guess you just stand right here as a witness. And then you've got your jury to the left or to the right. And then you come in here. Yeah, this has been set up or something because there's no seat for the judge to sit. So now I'm in the judge's area, but there's nowhere for him to sit. Okay, so let's get out of here. Let's go this way. Either way, whether this has been staged or not, it's still cool, in my opinion. And then here's another side. Another witness box type thing. Presumably that's the jury. Here, maybe this is the judge's office in here. The judge's quarters. He's got his own bathroom. All rise. So there's your railings and your your decorative features for the for the jury box. Too bad they're not still up. That would look really nice. Nice chairs, too. That's a nice window right there. Let's get a pan up there. Take a look at that. And then, then here's your seats for the crowd to come in and watch and observe. So now that we're in the middle, let's just do a full pan of the whole room. Here we go. Okay, let's move on and we'll head down this hallway and see what we got back here. Head up to the attic. We'll check that out when we're done up here. Here's another room with some curtains. Red curtains. Light fixtures and a bookshelf. Dead bird on the floor. He couldn't make it out. There he is. 
He didn't make it out, guys. He tried, but he ran into the window too many times. And then here is your main staircase from downstairs where you'd come up from the main floor, and then you would go to the right to go into the courtroom, which is right there. Continuing on, here we have no clue. No clue what is in here. Supply room. another room with curtains. Pan up and over. There you go. And then there was a room just off to the right in the courtroom that we can go check out. I did go up the uh, attic and there was nothing in it. So there you can see the attic stairs but it was just a big, dark, wooden room. So you're not missing much. Okay. Let's head this way and see what's in here. Got some steep stairs here. Got a lot of water coming in from outside. So this is an interesting room. I believe that a part of this building was leased out to some sort of an art gallery or something. And this is probably from that. Yeah. And then we'll head back over here. Got a room full of egg cartons. Must be some kind of a soundproof room. And then you got a dead end right there. Okay guys, hope you guys have liked this video. Hope you guys like this location. This has been really cool. Um, I've provided you guys with some history through voiceover and uh, I'll put some links down below to my photo gallery. I'll run out a little bit of a photo gallery here while the video ends. Help support my page. Make sure you like this video if you like it. Throw me a comment, let me know what you think. Did you guys like this place? Was this a cool spot? And at the same time, uh, share it. If you got friends who you think would share it, like this place, share it on Twitter, share it on Facebook. Anywhere else you can share it. Hope you guys have liked this. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next adventure. Peace.